Well, good morning, CUS kids. We are so glad to be worshiping with you. Why don't you stand up on your feet and join us in prayer before we get started. Lord, we thank you for the chance to be with you this morning. We thank you for the chance to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Um, Lord, we just ask that you would invade our thoughts and our hearts and our minds, Lord. And Lord, you would just encompass everything that we are in these moments so we can focus on you and fix our eyes on you, Lord. God, we give you this time. We devote it to you. And we just want to say you are worthy to be praised and you are worthy to be glorified. And that's what we want to do this morning. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God, we're going to sing uh, every move I make and start us off. So get ready to do the hand motions with Joshua and sing along with Stephanie and I. I take, I breathe in you. And every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Sing waves of mercy. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? I take, I breathe in you. Sing it out. And every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Yeah. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love. forever and let's just think about how vast and how wide his love is over the mountains and the sea your river runs with love for me and i will open up my heart and let the healer set me free i'm happy to be in the truth and i will daily lift my hands for i will always sing when your love came down Sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. I can sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing when your love came down. I can sing of your love forever. 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 Oh, I feel like dancing. Foolishness I know But when the world has seen the light They will dance with joy Like we're dancing now I could sing of your love forever 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 
That's our cry. We want you to open our hearts so that you can speak to us, so we can see your ways. Lord, we want to take direction from you. Lord, we want you to be our leader, not us. Help us to see where you're going and where you're moving. Lord, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit who teaches us and guides us. Thank you for your Son who died on the cross and rose again. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please give Mr. Clay and Ms. Stephanie and Joshua a big round of applause. 
We are so glad that you have joined us for worship this morning. I'm Miss Lauren, and it is a blessing that we have been able to worship as COS Kids online. I wanted to take a minute to thank everyone that has helped, everyone that's been on the stage, and everyone behind the scenes to make this possible. I hope that you and your families have enjoyed it and loved worshiping together at home. This month, we've been working on a verse all about the fruit of the Spirit, that when you make Christ the Lord of your life, that he the, he, you are filled with the Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit helps you make decisions. It helps give you strength. And by spending time with God, you will continually be filled with these fruit. Can you name them without looking? God will fill you. The Holy Spirit will fill you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So as we sing it one more time, I encourage you to think about how the Holy Spirit wants to work within you and that by giving your heart to God, that the Holy Spirit will come into your heart and will fill you with these things. Let's sing together. I hope that this song has helped you learn the fruit of the Spirit. When you give your life to Christ, that Holy Spirit will come and dwell within you. And as you continue to obey him, you might think that you have to be perfect 100% of the time. But no one is going to be like that. So you don't have to be afraid of messing up or disobeying God's word. But you do need to be repentant. And that means saying sorry when you mess up to God. And that means... Um, that God will continue to love you no matter what. He cares about you even more than your parents. He is full of mercy and grace. But that you can remember that by continuing to spend time, that the Holy Spirit will fill you just like an apple tree 
baskets fill with apples, and that you will can share his love with others through these fruit of the Spirit. Before we go, we have some announcements for you, some exciting things. Next week, July 5th, is our first Sunday that the COS Kids Elementary will be open at both the 8.30 and 11 o'clock services. There will be some changes, so I encourage you to check out our Facebook pages for a video all about what to expect. One of them is that you will need to reserve your spot in your child's class. One important note is that everyone will be moving up to the next grade level. So if your child just finished second grade, they will get to be a part of the third grade class in COS Kids. That means that we're welcoming some new kindergartners, and we're so excited that if your child is starting kindergarten in the fall, that they can join our kindergarten class for COS Kids. And if you're a fifth grader, we have loved having you at COS Kids, and we will miss seeing your faces each Sunday. But I encourage you to join the Pursuit Student Ministries. They have a ton of exciting things planned this summer. And you can check out our website again on their youth page to see what they are doing this summer. So let's go ahead and pray before we go. Thanks again for joining us today. Go ahead and stretch out your hands and pray with me. Heavenly Father, you are awesome and mighty. Thank you for the fruit that you have given us through your Holy Spirit. We pray that we can shine our, your light to everyone that we are around this week. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful week.